So today we need to talk about color theory. All right, so this is your basic color wheel, but I organize it so that the yellow is at the top. So your primary colors are yellow, blue, and red because you cannot mix anything to create those three colors. Then when you start to mix your primary colors together, you get your secondary colors. So when you put your blue and red together, it makes purple. Red and yellow together makes orange. Blue and yellow together makes green. Then your intermediate colors are when those start to get mixed up together. So your orange and then your red makes that red orange. Your red moving into that purple makes that red violet color. All right, so then your analogous colors, you start with a primary color like red and then you move in any direction and they are all friends. So your analogous colors all touch each other. So they're gonna be friends here and that is three to five colors. Okay, then your complementary colors are opposites. So because we always start with yellow at the top, purple has to be at the bottom because they are complementary. Then a split complementary is so we start with this yellow here and then we split at the bottom to a red violet and a blue violet color here. So that is the split to the yellow. You can also complement green. So the complement of green is red and the complement of blue is orange. So let's go with the blue here. So if we wanted to split complement on blue, then that is gonna be your yellow orange and your red orange to make that split complementary on blue. All right, so then I wanted to talk to you guys about warm and cold colors. Warm is this side of yellow, okay? And then cool colors are this side of yellow. So you're gonna think about that blue green, even that yellow, that yellow green, which is, we know it as lime green, is considered to be a cool color all the way up to that yellow edge. Some people include yellow in their cool colors. I personally feel like yellow is kind of neutral because it's real simple to slide it to this orange yellow color and slide it into warm and slide it towards the green a little bit and slide it to cool. So I personally use yellow a lot as a way to um, bring together warm and cool colors into a composition. Then I want to talk about monochromatic. So monochromatic is when it's all various shades of the same color. So let's say you wanted to do a water scene and you used all these various shades of blue here. So the blue green, the blue purple, the blue violet. So that would still be considered monochromatic. Okay, so I'm gonna be available for questions during office hours on Tuesday and Friday this week. All right.